The Wednesday Bookmark on Family Radio CHRI. Each week, we introduce you to something new, something that'll make you think, something that might change your life. Here's this week's author interview on the Wednesday Bookmark on Family Radio CHRI. Best-selling author Marty Wachowski is out with a new book once again designed to help children grow in knowing and loving God. It's called Wonderful, Ancient Psalms Ever New. It teaches young readers to use the whole book of the Psalms to pray and to worship and to find help through the challenges that life is certain to bring. So welcome back, Marty. Thanks so much for having me on your program. First of all, you weave in a fictional story throughout the book where young Oliver is reading a book just like this one with his grandfather as his health is declining. And it's a really beautiful demonstration of one generation passing along the knowledge and understanding and application of scripture to the next. Why is this important to you? Well, you know, I'm a grandfather now. Actually, I just had my fourth grandchild this week, a boy, and uh, we're called by God to pass on the glorious deeds, the things that our fathers have shown us, we're to pass on to the next generation. And it's so important because, hey, think about how much we've learned in our lives. Hmm. If, if our kids and our grandchildren can benefit from learning from us, uh, how much further along could they be? And perhaps not making some of the mistakes that we've made. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I know the Psalms is a great place to start for people who are new to the Bible. And you're so good at, uh, you know, simplifying uh, scripture and theology in a way that kids will understand. When we look at the Psalms specifically, though, and we're talking for, uh, you know, for, for young readers, but also for all ages, what do the Psalms say about God? And what do they say about us? Well, you know, the Psalms are a tremendous book of the Bible. And they teach us literally everything we need to know about God. And someone might say, well, that's the Old Testament, Marty. Uh, What about Jesus? And what you find is the Psalms actually teach quite a bit about Jesus. Long before Jesus ever came, Psalm 22 described the way that Jesus would die, even down to they would cast lots for his garments. And so the Psalms are this wonderful book where we see characters of the Old Testament in their struggles, crying out to God honestly, Mm -hmm. so that when they were having really terrible times, they'd just say, God, these times are terrible. What's going on? And just be quite honest with the Lord. I think that some people have this thought that our prayers need to be polished, perfect, and precise. And what we see from the Psalms is, no, God is just interested in us running to him for help in our time of need. And so introducing this book to children gives them all the tools they need to learn about God, and then more importantly, to talk to God as they watch the great saints of old like King David call out to God in the midst of his trials. How in the book are you teaching readers to pray through the Psalms? Can you be a bit more practical with what you teach here? Yeah, um, well, the story of Oliver that's woven through it is actually designed to give a demonstration. So uh, when Oliver's grandfather begins to get sick and they talk about the, the Psalms together, they pray actual verses from the Psalms. So it literally is as simple as repeating the words of the Psalm that you're in Um, A very easy one. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Psalm 23. And uh, he prepares a banqueting table in the presence of my enemies. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. So, you know, you're reading through the Psalms. You're just reading those verses. But what you do is you make them your own. Personalize. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. And when you say that, you think not David of ages past, but of Marty Michowski of today present. And it becomes a prayer for today, not just a psalm from yesterday. And I think that exercise too just helps us get in that practice of actually understanding what the text says and applying it to today. Like just generally, not just as a prayer, but just a general good practice when it comes to studying scripture. That's true. And the psalms so often bring us back. Like if you look at Psalm 43, the psalmist asked the question, why are you so 
downcast, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? And then it says, boom, turns it around. Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. It, it, it shows you that it's okay to tell God your problems, but let's not forget that God is also your solution and he will come through in the future for you. Mm. Well, well, you're talking about making scripture for today, you know, making it relevant and, and real and, and personal. And I think that's probably why, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but why you put the, the ancient Psalms ever new in the title. Uh, but I also like that you don't just pick a few of the more popular Psalms, like you already mentioned Psalm 23, you know, 117, 121, but rather all 150 chapters in the book of the Psalms. Why was that so important to you? Well, I wanted to go through the whole book of Psalms, and that was actually quite an impossible task to fit into one book for children when, you know, most commentaries will put it in two and sometimes three volumes. But uh, I did that by taking some of the uh, Psalms in broad categories like the Psalms of Ascent or the Kingly Psalms and picking one section of each of those Psalms and talking about them as a theme. But I wanted to present the whole book because uh, in doing so, I can help people understand whole groupings of Psalms and why they're there. So that even though I don't get into every single verse and every single one, when they come to those Psalms, they have at least a basic concept of what is this about and why is it here? Yeah. And, uh, and Marty, also, how are the Psalms connected to each other? Well, uh, it's interesting there were thousands of psalms, but the, the mystery editor, the, the one who put this book together, the man who actually decided who, which psalms were going to go in which order, uh, didn't just do it randomly, just didn't pick up, you know, 150 sheets off the floor and say, okay, we'll put these together. He did it so very specifically. So, for example, when you see in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, it comes directly after Psalm 22, which is the the prophetic psalm that talks about Jesus's crucifixion. So when you put those two together, who is my shepherd? It's, it's Jesus who died for you. And of course, then you remember right away, oh yeah, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. And he's the one who uh, leaves the 99 to find the one straying lamb. And so all of a sudden, if you put Psalm 22 together with Psalm 23, you go, wow, what a powerful duo that is. Hmm. So cool. Marty, as we wrap things up, I know that it's been a challenging year for everyone. Um, and these psalms we've already talked about will help readers deal with their troubles and with challenges that come our way. But I want to know, what is overall your hope for young people today? My hope for young people today is that they would not be distracted by the world. There's so much coming at them. Video, games, and, and the internet holds so many challenges. Uh, my hope is that I preserve this wonderful tool of books and reading because that tool is what God has given us to reveal himself to us. So if I can help the next generation who's caught up with video games, and they can be fun, pull away, look at a book, learn about God, and then get even more interested to turn to their Bibles. If I get one kid to turn back to his Bible, I feel like all it was all worth it. Then that's mm. my desire. Well, it's encouraged to have your Bible with you when you're going through the book. Journaling is a big part of it. And there's also a study guide for older kids to go deeper at the back of the book, too. It is wonderful. Ancient Psalms Ever New by bestselling author and family pastor Marty Machowski. He's done it again, helping children grow in knowing and loving God using simple and easy to understand language. Marty, I always learn something from your books. So thank you. And it's always great to have you on. Thanks for having me on your show. The Wednesday Bookmark on Family Radio CHRI. To find out more about this week's bookmark or hear the author interview again or to discover previous books highlighted on the Wednesday Bookmark, go to chri.ca. 